Hi and welcome. In this video uh, we're going to demonstrate how to um, map an item uh, inside of our software product to an existing item over in QuickBooks versus creating a new one. Um, that's an option that you do have. So um, to do that go to start catalog and manage products. So on the QuickBooks tab here um, Besides this create button, which would create a new item uh, that we demonstrate in, in another video, there is this map button also to map to existing QuickBooks items. So um, some of our users, after they've set up their um, SI2015 catalog here of products, they don't want to recreate the items over in QuickBooks. Um, since they already exist there, they want to just uh, map them. Now, this is a one-to-one -one mapping, so it, it could be time-consuming. Be aware of that. Um, you're going to select an item here. Um, and hit the map button and what this is going to do is it's going to pull up a list of all of your um, QuickBooks items your inventory parts as well as your um, non-inventory parts and you're going to select um, one from the list in this case we'll just say ABC123 now obviously that um, doesn't appear to have any connection to this device but um, that's kind of the point of this um, we don't know what format you were using um, for your items over in QuickBooks. It might have been a part number, uh, could be some combination of uh, manufacturer model that's like abbreviated. Uh, but the point here is regardless of what the um, name is, you can map it. And now that is a connected item over in uh, QuickBooks. Uh, if you uh, double click this and open this up, you can see here on the accounting tab that it has been assigned an accounting item name of ABC123 and uh, that is mapping to an existing item.